All right, guys, just to recap all of the stuff that I, we just went over, I know it was a lot of information. I know that space can sometimes be this thing that's a little bit hard to understand and definitely really hard to practice. There are digestible things like the techniques and all of that stuff that, and the drills that really help with that, of course. But let the conceptual idea of space like really just kind of sink into your brain. So let that, let, like try to understand the, how space is my reaction time. That's really important. Space is my first line of defense. That's really important. Space, I need to be able to maintain space if I want to because that means I get to choose when risk happens because anytime you're in a fight and you're close enough to punch each other, you're at risk. If you're far enough away and can keep yourself that far, far enough away, you're the person that's determining when risk happens, which is a giant advantage in fight, in war, in battle, in a lot of things. If you can be the one that says when the bad shit happens, that's a really, really big deal. Maintaining and closing space needs to be something that's practiced all of the time, whether that be when you're hitting pads, whether you're hitting the bag, whether you're drilling with a partner, technical sparring, sparring, fighting, space needs to be taken into account at all times. There's different times to do different ranges depending on how dangerous you're playing, right? Like if I'm in a fight range, and by fight range I mean like we're one step away from each other, which means I can't just hit the person in front of me, but I'm about one step away from being able to hit the person in front of me, and vice versa, they're one step away from being able to hit me, that's fight range. As you get closer to a fight or as you get closer to a competition, you practice things in the fight range. When you're in like play range, sparring range, you're, you're playing the game where you guys both are fighting each other, you're letting each other work a little bit, but you're in a range that isn't a fight range because in fight range, shit's going down when you're able to hit each other. Usually you guys are in a fight, okay? So just have an awareness around the space. Make sure that you're practicing maintaining and closing space in safe and efficient ways. Make sure that when you're crashing, you're doing it on purpose and you're doing it safely. Take this target, put it out of the way of whatever is flying at your face or whatever things they can throw at you. Take that target, move it out of the way at the same time that you attack. Whether that's an elbow, a jump knee, trading hooks, an overhand, Make sure that you're crashing on purpose and doing it safely by moving the target, which is your noggin, out of the way. The last thing is our pulls and our pops. This is really important because it is the ability to put pressure on someone meaningfully. There are other ways to do it, but I don't really particularly think that they're the safest way. Like you could just guard up and march at someone, take the punches and swing back. That's like an okay way to do things. I definitely wouldn't recommend that to like someone that I love. That's not how I teach the guys here, uh, the people that I like take under my wing. I think that it's not as reliable because in MMA gloves especially, you just will not be able to cover everything. Um, and it's just a better way to get good at doing things if you're able to move your feet. Pull, take inches away by putting pressure when they swing at you make them miss, make them frustrated, make them uncomfortable, and then take a little bit more inches away, pull or pop or whatever, take more inches away. All of this stuff is really important to know how to do. In the next instructional, we're gonna talk about our advantages, okay? Our advantages are pretty much angles and anything else that means you can attack at a safe time. An advantage means that it's no longer a 50-50 playing field. A lot of people in fighting right now are playing on a 50-50 playing field on accident, whether they're not coached the right way or so many people actually are doing it, even at the high level in the UFC like me. People are doing it at such a high level that they think that that's how it's supposed to be going down. You never go 50-50 with your health or your career if you really, really want to be good at it. If you want to be an entertainer, go to town, you know, like make it a 50-50 as much as you can and go crazy. That's not good martial arts. That's not good fighting. Advantages means that you're giving yourself, while it might not be a giant advantage, you are giving yourself an advantage. If you pile up enough advantages on top of each other, statistically, you will be better off than just rolling the dice and making things a 50-50. So if this is your second time here in this video course, 
and you already watched the position ones, great. We'll come out with some advantage ones next. Make sure that you guys are watching those ones too. Uh, I made them and worked really hard on all three of them so that they can become one encompassing understanding of fighting, which again, the techniques and all of that stuff is really beautiful, but the way that martial arts is being taught right now is it's just techniques. I'm trying to get people on the conceptual side. So if you haven't already, get the position videos. If you guys already bought the position videos, I thank you. Thank you guys for buying the space ones. Keep an eye out for the advantages. Uh, I appreciate you guys giving your guys' hard-earned money towards trying to learn something for yourself, but also giving me the ability to help you guys as much as I can. Um, and peace out. Good? All right. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, please comment. Let me know what you guys want to see more of, and I can make more of that content. If you found this helpful and you want to learn more, I'm just... I just dropped my first... I just dropped... I did it again. What is wrong with me? If you found this helpful and you want to learn more, I just dropped my first instructional series. Make sure that you guys hit the link below. Finally, shout out to my sponsor, Sheath, that made all of this content possible. Peace.